Hello and welcome to Fun Incomplete. This time I'm going to try out the sensor called MQ135, as known as air quality sensor on Raspberry Pi. This air quality slash smoke detector. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, I have digital out here, so I'll use that and I'll leave the analog out. Okay, the wiring is done, at least I can see it's powering up. Okay, but I'll try this digital out first and see if it's gonna work. Keep it as is, just in case. And thirty-five. Right. Let's try this. I need to make a smoke. Um, wasn't thinking about this. Solder and uh, make some smoke that way. So what I'll do is I hold this bit high so I can handle this better. Yep, so now I've got a sensor here. some smoke. Come on. Perhaps I need to change its sensitivity. Okay, so this sensor is very good at detecting this, Look. detecting this, but it does not detect those, or the smoke came up from the solder iron. 
so I'm gonna have to try a different sensor. But the point is, um, the digital out is working. Although MQ-135 was good at detecting flammable gas, it wasn't detecting smoke at all. So I have this sensor instead, MQ-2, to try out. It looks similar, but it's a different model. Uh, this is MQ-2. And I would like to try this one out to see how it's going to react on smoke and other uh, flammable gas. All right, so let's start. So this program here, uh, I believe this number three is representing the number coming out from this MQ02. So first of all, I'll try with this uh, lighter gas, uh, which was detected by MQ135 as well. Uh, I'll see if if this sensor detect a lighter gas as well. So this, watch out this number at the rightmost column, uh, which is about 4,400 level, maybe 4,300 around that level. So let's see if it's going to change, All right? One, two, three. Okay, so it's clearly detected uh, something different. It detected um, uh, this lighter gas and it's slowly going back to normal. Alright, so I'm just feed a normal air. Okay, so now the number has gone down to 4000 level and I'll see if this sensor reacts on this smoke. Alright, let's try this one out. Alright, I'll like that. Try this again. What I prepared is a glass uh, covering this MQ2 sensor. I'm probably going to try this with MQ135 as well later. But what I'm planning to do is that I'll quickly light this match and I prepare smoke inside, trap the smoke inside this glass. So again, this is a number representing this sensor output. Uh, it's seeing around 4,700-ish number. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. All right, so let that much on. Going up 5,000. 5,400. So it is, it is reacting, but it's not as much as I was hoping. So I'll see if I can generate a bit more, a bit better smoke. Okay, I've got two matches here. triggered it that triggered it so it's gone gone beyond the 13,000 level having this as a baseline I'm going to change the sensor back to one one three five sensor and see how this sensor is going to react all right so last gone the number immediately starting to drop it's now going to baseline 4000 line okay so I'll just switch the sensor to MQ135. Uh, MQ135 was detecting this lighter gas, so I will just test if this sensor is functioning normally. Okay, one, two, three. All right, so it's, it's going up significantly from 1500 to 20,000, so it is working. All right, let's try the same, same thing with this glass. Get this just away. 
drop the sensor in the right and in the same way, like so. And I'll strike two matches together. Yep. Okay, one. Let's see. No, it doesn't react. I'd like to try again just to make sure. How about if I put a lighter gas in it? Yes, it does go up from 1300 to 6000. So it is, sensor is working, but it's not reacting on smoke. Alright, I'll clear the smoke or I'll clear the light I guess. Okay, going back to 2000 level. And I'll try... One, two, three. Okay, quite a lot of smoke going into this glass. No, it does not change much at all. It's still sitting on 1600. So for my purpose, I prefer MQ02 sensor better than MQ135 sensor. Thanks for watching and arigatou gozaimashita.